Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Successors Power of Next Gen Technologies. Hello everyone, now we are going to discuss about Web Recorder. So now I am going to Automation Anywhere Developer Client. Now I am going to click on Web Recorder. So here you need to enter the website whatever you want to perform the automation so here i am going to perform the automation on facebook login application now click on start if you click on start it will open the facebook page so wait for some time so now it's open the facebook page So I'm stopping the recording. I'm not saving this one. I think I'm facing some technical issue with the browser. So I am saying no thanks. <coughs> so we'll try one more time. So now I'm going to web recorder. I'm saying the website. Now I'm going to click on start. I'm saying OK. Now it, it's open the Facebook login page. Now I'm entering here username. I'm giving some username over there. Then I'm clicking on tab. Then I'm clicking over here the password. I'm saying this is my credentials. So now I'm clicking on login button. So if I provide the valid credentials, it should be logged into the Facebook application. Say. So now I'm stopping that recording over here. So let's see. I'm saving it as FB. Web app. So I'm saving it. Let's see whether it will perform the operation, whatever we want or not. Now I am going to run this web application. So it's opened the web Facebook and it's entered the username and password and as well as it's clicked on the login button. That is the reason it is loading over there. So as I provided the wrong credentials, it is not able to log into the into the application. If provided the valid credentials, it will be. So now for suppose I want to change the credential details okay so how i want to change the credential details means i am selecting this web fb web web app and i am going to click on edit see now it's open in the task editor so see here it is opening in the first step it is opening the facebook application in the second step it is saying username as admin see I am giving right click and I am going to edit this. So it will be opened like this. See here you are not seeing anything as you are entering the text. So for that you need to click on advanced view. So if you go over here see here if you are seeing admin here. So I am changing this one as user. So now password. You entered the password right so it should not display in the automation also that is the reason it is showing displaying as stars if it displays in the automation if it displays the original password it is the uh, one security problem that is the reason they maintain the security as well so if you enter any passwords in the password fields it is not going to display inside the code also so now I am editing this if you want to remove that password and if you want to replace in the same way you have to click on advanced view and now you can change the password over here but you are not able to see that password as it is the password. So now I am entering the password. So I am entering the password here now. I am saving it. 
so i am putting some delay here you need to check right whether it is putting the old admin information or now the new session so that is the reason i am giving some delay over here so that is 5 seconds i am giving 5 seconds see here same so in the delay in the in task editor in the left side panel you can see one command delay over here so if you click on that it will be displayed like that so here you can select delay regular delay or random delay so i am going with the regular delay random delay means it will wait for random time so here i am giving the milliseconds or seconds so i am giving seconds and i am giving the value as 5 so it will wait for 5 seconds so i am saving this and i am saving this let's see now run it so it's open the browser and it's open the browser. see here it is saying test user and it is waiting for five seconds then it's entered the password and it's clicking on that's how the web recorder will work thanks for watching my video if you are interested in my videos you can subscribe thank you very much so Thanks for watching our videos please subscribe and click on bell icon to get regular notifications.